Denny, we're taking him to the hospital. This is ridiculous. Look at him. He's so sick. It's tearing me apart. Oh. Forget it, Lorena. I can't afford an emergency room visit. That's like 300 bucks. Well, Connor's sick, but his fever's under 104. It's gonna be fine. We just need to give him a little whiskey to calm him down and help him go to sleep. Much. You know babies can't handle their liquor. I'm not cleaning up any more messes. Well, obviously I want to save some for us. I'm gonna go get some ice and put it on his sweaty forehead. You mean his man baby forehead? Oh, don't you complain. You didn't give birth to a 27 pound baby! That was a banshee, a fairy woman from the underworld whose wailing was a death omen. Someone in this house is going to die. <laughs> a banshee. We should stay away from that. They've got to be nothing but trouble. Stay away? No one's gonna die in this family over my dead body. Don't fly off the cuff again. Last time you broke your leg. We just, we gotta, you know, we gotta, we gotta figure out a way to kill it. No one can kill it. They're stuck in the midst of time. Actually, you can kill a banshee if you dip a long knife or a sword in the manure of a jet black horse. Because only a horse the color of night can catch a banshee. At least before cars, airplanes, things like that came about. Great, now we're hearing voices and they're telling us to do some Lord of the Rings bullshit. Ooh, I have that long knife that came from my ancestors. We can use that. You can't be serious. Come on, we gotta pack supplies. All right. Earplugs. Check. A netting. Check. Ancestral knife. Check. All right, muffins, gun, bullets, oh. hammer. Bandages, don't forget bandages, clumsy ass wife. Let's go. Wait a minute, what about Connor? He's too young to stay by himself, and he's frickin' sick. Well, let's just give him some more whiskey. He'll sleep it off. We'll be back.
Would you put that thing away till we find something to stick it in? I'm not offering up my belly when you trip over yourself. We're in the middle of the woods. How hard can it be to find a mess that a black horse left? Most of them are black, right? I don't think so. Brown ones come to mind first, then white ones, and ones with spots come a distant third, I think. Anyway, if we don't see one relieving itself, how are we going to know what color the horse was? I say we stab as many piles as possible. There's one right now. Let's give it a poke. All right. You see anything? I think the sword is vibrating. It's turning an elvish white color. I think you've got the shakes. Better stab it again. Look, there's another pile. That should do it. All right, let's unravel the net and set the trap. What makes you think Banshees pass by here anyway? It's close to our house. It knows it has to get through us to get to Connor. Unless it goes directly to Connor while we're out here. What? Hurry! Do you think it'll hold a banshee? There's only one way to find out. Run into it. What? Practice run. Rena, I have a bad feeling about this. But okay. Actually, you have to be smart enough to understand who's coming for whom. Now my mom's a banshee. And I'm gonna have a better life if someone finds me.